still can't believe I've done a full face of makeup today only to remember that it's a work day in my stage makeup class. Hey y'all, it's me, Alex. Today I have my August. It's August. My August favorites video. I don't have a whole lot going on for this this month, so this one's gonna be rather short. Um, but anyway, let's just get started. Oh, also pardon the lighting. I, I'm i lazy. I didn't put up any lights this morning. I just opened the blinds. Well, Casey opened the blinds. Kind of broke the blinds a little bit, but that's okay. I'll get that fixed at some point. Okay. Okay, so the first thing that I've really been loving this month is the Essence Make Me Brow. I'm wearing that on my brows. Um, just because, you know, I have my Holy Grail Milani stuff, but I really wanted to try something different to kind of have a change of pace. Just because, you know, when you've been using the same product for a really long time, it just kind of starts to, I don't know, it doesn't work as well as when you first started using it, if that makes sense. So I've been putting this in. It was a little hard to maneuver. At first, like, it has a tiny little brush in it, which actually works great. There, you can see that. Um, but it was kind of difficult because, you know, there are the patches in there that don't quite, like, match. Does that make sense? You know, like, they're, like, less hair on the brows and, less, and, like, more brows, and I'm doing a really bad job of explaining this. Um, but once I kind of learned to work through that, this has been working really, really, really well. Uh, next thing I've been loving is this NYX Retractable Eyeliner. It's literally just a black eyeliner, but it's really good. I had just kind of been using my Milani one for a really long time, and I eventually ran out like right in the middle of a tutorial. But it's all okay now because I got a new one, and this one, I don't know quite what it is, but it's just like a really dark black liner. It's, it's just good. You need a good black liner in your life. Uh, next thing also from NYX is this NYX HD liquid concealer. All of the packaging has rubbed off. I have it in the shade 03 light. I use it because um, I do a lot of concealing in the morning because I do the primer, then color correcting under my eyes and foundation, and then I use this on top, which is a lot to put on my face, but it does a really good job. I've used this for a very, very, very long time. Uh, it's, it's just a really good thing. It's kind of stuck by me for all these years. I know I've mentioned this one in favorites videos before. Um, I also recently saw Jackie Ina do a dupes video where this um, is a potential dupe for the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I might look into getting that concealer and kind of seeing what it does. But this is really good. Okay, next thing is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in the shade Sad Girl. This is what I have on my lips right now. I literally bought it just for the name, pretty much, and I was scared of the formula because, I don't know, it seems like with Anastasia, like, um, you either really, really love the formula of, formula of their liquid lipsticks or you really hate it. I'm in the camp of really, really loving it. Like, this lasts forever on the lips, it is a bit drying, so watch out for that. If you don't like that, then don't wear this one. But it, like, I don't have to reapply it that much throughout the day through eating and stuff. So, Anastasia Liquid Lipstick in Sad Girl, quite good. The next thing I also came in that Sephora order, it's this Tokyo Milk Dark um, Rollerball Perfume and Tainted Love. I'm thinking during the VIB sale, I'm going to like get the full size of this because it's really that good because it's really sweet but also very very musky and I have a lot of scents that are basically just like um sweet and girly and baking y and this one just kind of adds an edge to that. I've also found out that this is the one like Kat Von D uses a hand cream version of this so if you want to smell like Kat Von D wear this. Okay, I've also been loving this Soap and Glory Rich and Fomus um, body wash stuff. I love the packaging. I love the packaging on everything Soap and Glory. It's really cute. Um, it smells good. It's like super moisturizing in the bath. And it's, there's not much I can say about this other than just like it's a pretty good body wash. 
Um, last thing, it's not a physical favorite, but I saw Suicide Squad this month and I really thought I was gonna hate it because, like, Jared Leto exists in this movie. If you don't, like, he's kind of an icky person to me, just like, he's done things that I'm not mentioning on this channel, like, just go Google him and you'll see things. Harley Quinn was amazing, she was everything I could possibly want. And also, like, Will Smith's character, Deadshot, he, like, they don't talk about him in that much in the previews. Like, they show him a little bit, but not that much, and he's amazing. His character, like, gave me so many feels in my heart, so that's good. And, yeah. If you don't think you'll, like, it still wasn't as good as, like, the Marvel movies of this year, but it's definitely in the top five of movies that I have seen this year. Also, I've been watching the anime Orange. Um, it's on Crunchyroll. They do a simulcast of it like around noon on Sundays. I'm like one episode behind right now, but it's so good. Um, I've had friends who've read the manga and they say it's incredibly heart-wrenching. So I'm looking forward to the end because I want to know what happens, but I also don't. Um, basically, the premise is this girl, Naho, um, she is 16 and she starts getting letters from herself, but 10 years later, um, and her 10 years old, older self is telling her that one of her new friends is going to die unless she does something about it. And so the letters are detailing like all of the things in the life that she want in her life that she kind of wants to change and what she thinks will make things better um, and what would make her friend like not die and she later finds out that all of her other friends have gotten these letters as well um, and it's really really deep and good and all of the things so yeah all right y'all thank you so much for watching please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me and i will see you on my next video i hope you'll have a wonderful day bye hey y'all it's me alex true i have an extra super special video